hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Hello everyone, lords and ladies, welcome back to the channel and house gardener. We are still playing as King Merrin the ninth, age 59 of house gardener. He's been doing fairly well. He's got our troops up to 47k and I think is uh, managing to hold the reach and the gardeners together pretty well. Now, you may remember at the end of last episode, Aegon was continuing his second war, I think. Yeah, second conquest of the Stormlands. And yet again, the Storm King has managed to thwart his ambitions. The previous Storm King, unfortunately, did die to his dragon. But, so, uh, Argilac was burned by Rhaenys Targaryen's dragon. And then, what happened to Storm Queen Argella? She was killed in personal combat by Lord Lymond. But the new king seems to be doing fairly well. To the great Huntmaster Mern, may you live in harmony and contentment. We request that you honour your obligation and answer the call to arms against Lord Reaver Joserin of Greatwick. So let's just check out who he's going to war with. He's going to war with one of the Iron Islander Lords, Lord Reaver, Joserin, pretty powerful uh, Ironborn Lord. And I will, of course, accept and help my ally, Lauren. We may have to send the boats from the arbor here. So let's set about getting them in place, getting the troops on board. And go to Old Town and see what else you can pick up for us. Uh, probably Lord Tarly will give me a decent levy, yeah. What about you, Florence? You're never really that keen on the reach, are you? No. Old Oak, you're fairly happy, so let's use your 1,000. And Cold Moat, you'll give me... Ooh, you'll give me 5, wow. You know what, I don't think I'll actually need that many, but sure. So if you come to the coast, my friend, and we can pick you up, uh, we'll take your five, see what we can use. Braxton Osgray is slowly learning the art of the sword. I want to see how he's doing in the war. Okay, it's gone down a little bit, but where is the Storm King's army at present? Not too sure. Hopefully not been burnt to smithereens. Lauren's sending, or actually probably retreating, a force back towards the rock. Uh, you are going to the coast, my friend. To be fair, you can you can stay there and we'll pick you up. It'll be quicker and the, the boats come to you. So, Gawen's army will shortly be with him. So that will make a total of 5,000 troops. If we come over here, pick these guys up. You know what? I don't think we'll need you. Thank you very much, though, Golden Grove, for your willing vassalage. Let's pop you guys on the boat. So that's a 7k stack. Send them on over. Oh, he does need help, though, in Casterly Rock. So let's... Let's land in Lannisport, merge the troops, give them the relevant commanders, and set about helping him at Castle Rock. In fairness, he doesn't have the troops to uh, actually siege the rock, so I'm not sure what he's doing sitting there. Let's just pause and put our relevant commanders in place. So Olimar, Oswell, and Adam, you guys will all start heading there. Hopefully your morale will be at full capacity, probably not, although the Lannister troops are moving in, so we will need to help them. By the rock. 
Because I don't want Laurent to lose all his troops. He's been fighting valiantly with the Storm King. And it's meant that we've been able to retain our strength. Good, so that's 51% in favour there. Let's go back on our boats. See if we can get a little bit of uh, siege money ransacking his holding. Hammerhorn has a garrison of 2.5k, so it will be fairly substantial, but hopefully we will be able to muster the troops to break down the doors. If you are enjoying this... Uh, season in an older period of the Game of Thrones saga, then please do consider leaving a like and subscribing for more content. I'm looking to do another playthrough back in the old days as Torrin, so that'll be a, another side, and seeing if we can get the Rivalins and possibly even the whole realm under the Stark rule, so do keep your eyes peeled for that. Meantime, Hammerhorn Siege is continuing. How are you doing now? 84%. So he's kind of stagnant. Looks like his army's been fought back by the Stormlands. But whilst he's occupied, I'm just happy for that to continue. Who are you fighting? You're fighting one of your own vassals. Okay. Buildings in High Garden have continued to be constructed. So High Garden is coming along rather nicely. Sadly, though, it won't be dragonproof, and that is going to be the issue. Uh, ooh, we could invest in the castle town right now, which I'm kind of tempted to do. Get that early investment in, because it will pay off in the long run for House Gardener. We're hoping to keep House Gardener alive, because obviously they became extinct due to Aegon's cruelty. I will not have the Tyrells ruling in the Reach. There's another playthrough for that, so not in this one, not going to happen. At the moment, there's very little plotting going on, which is quite good. It's what I like to see. Siege at Hammerholm is going nicely. And it's 51% in favour of them. How are you doing in your war? Back down to 80%. Okay. But Aegon really does not seem to have many troops left. He's got 12k. But Visenya is in prison, which I absolutely love. But so's Gerald. Oh, but Gerald's in prison by his dad, really. Lauren's gone a bit tyrannical there. Well, a son was born to Prince Garth, or Gareth rather. And my heir is still my grandson, as, as someone pointed out. Um... Oh, in fact, he has just been triggered. What did you die of? Natural death. Oh, that's a sad, sad death for dear old Mern. He served us well and got to the age of 60, so he did us well. We now have a new heir, Brynden Gardner, who is our son. Uh, he's only one, so he still has plenty to do. Let's just ensure we get someone with uh, a decent stats to educate him i'm tempted to give him to harlan uh, as per custom all my money was distributed so that's unfortunate i'm afraid as a result i can't afford the funeral so we're gonna have to take the hit to prestige which has actually put us in the negative all hail his grace gas of the house gardener the eighth of his name King in the Reach and Lord of Highgarden, Defender of the Marches, Warden of the Citadel and Protector of the Realm. This will have given us a big old hit to our levy. So it's going to be all about rebuilding and building up to prevent any such invasion from Aegon. We have, however, just become a hedonist, which improves my diplomacy and fertility. So I'm not unhappy with that. We've also had various things added to our treasury. So the glass candle, which was a solid purchase. Uh, King Gas, that's increasing our marshal slightly. And, of course, the Gardener Crown. 
Now we need to improve maybe stewardship, but right now I think it's important to have some kids because we'll have lost all of our alliances and they were just integral. If I can, I certainly want to get an alliance back with Torren because Torren is the only one with a decent tro uh, troop count. So, have you got anyone that can give me an alliance? I can get an alliance with the Stormlands, but I can't seem to get an alliance with the North, which is not great. That's not great at all. Certainly, what about his son? His son's not had any kids. Skagos is not of interest. Both her children have died stillborn. You've got some kids. What about marrying you? But that's going to get me in alliance with the Lord of Brandon's Gift, which is of no interest to me. So, these alliances that we built up are now sadly lost. So we are put back a good stretch here. But it's okay, the gardeners will no doubt build back up. Gas isn't the worst, he's got decent diplomacy and decent martial. We're helping our uh, ancestral ally, which will only help our cause. We'll also get a little bit of money for this, hopefully, ransacking of Hammerhorn. Right, some bodyguards are needed because I suspect there will be a little bit of plotting going on because we are an early uh, new ruler. Hopefully nothing too drastic. Right, the siege there is complete. The war will be done. I would like to send you back. Will you... Mm, he's not that happy. Okay, so he was captured. We helped the Lannisters. I don't think we're going to get much out of it, sadly. I was hoping for a little bit more than that. But due to Merrin's death, or Mern's death, sorry, it's uh, not worked out quite in our favour. My kinsman, Sir Gunther Gardner, has died. We're still making eight gold, so gold is not too bad. Crown loyalists, still pretty strong, you know, that's, that's pretty good, 200%. Despite being an early ruler, I think is is pretty good. Position-wise, I do need to appoint a Master of Laws, which we are going to appoint Tumbleton because it's just integral that we get that solid uh, Lords in positions. Torrance Peak as well is going to be my Master of Whisperers. We don't currently have a Meister, so that's something we need to be aware of. Thank you all for your troop count. And thank you for your boats. Uh, right, now we can pop him as Master of Whisperers to go and do something for us. We can also try and hire a Meister from the Citadel, which is just next door, conveniently. Is your war continuing? Your war still continues. And he just... He can't deal with it. So Meister Emric is our new Meister. 14 learning, so not too bad. And now it is just a case of us continuing to build back up. We need to build the vassal loyalty back up. And the kingdom itself. The levy count also will be integral. Levy will not be reinforced until the garrison is reinforced. Are you training here? You are indeed training troops, so that's good. So Visenya is still in prison. What about your other wife? Rainies. She's still out and about and she is in Harrenhal at the moment. And Harrenhal is owned by Lord Alan Cahiris. So he's pretty powerful. What's he done with Oris? Is Oris still alive? Maybe Oris has died. Which would be a sad thing. I like Oris. 
Okay, good. Castle Town's been built, so that's going to improve our income a little bit. You still won't have a non-aggression pact with me. You're not that keen on me, which I suppose makes a little bit of sense. Dawn, what's going on with you guys? She's currently incapable. She also doesn't want a non-aggression pact. Uh, and we can't even declare war on her. Because we have no claims. Uh, Mark Gardner, pretty good with martial. So let's see about giving him to someone with decent martial law, Tali. And it will give us a bit of a bonus to our relationship. Lord Garth, the planter, has started a faction for himself in the Reach. But to be honest, I'm fairly satisfied from the fact that the realm seems to like us a decent amount. My Master of Whisperers sadly has uh, changed. So let's get... I mean, he's not good, but he's a High Lord and it's going to improve my relations with him. One afternoon, my wife comes to you and begs a private word. She asks that you allow her to take one of the serving girls as her handmaiden. Sure. We lose a bit of prestige, but that's fine. Ah, and she's pregnant. Good. We also have room for one more commander. Lord Greyshield, welcome. Keeper of the Swans, let's give to Armin. And at the moment there are little to no uh, plotting against us. So that's all beneficial. My personal combat skill is pretty appalling. So we won't be doing any fighting anytime soon apart from obviously this tournament. We've managed to stay away from Aegon's eyeline for a long time. The Stormlands War is slowly going down, though. It's now down to 61% in favour of the Stormlands. But I can't see where his troops are. Hopefully not sieging Storm's End. But the Lannisters may well be taking some lands back, so it might, might well work back in their favour. It'll be good if the Stormlands can just keep him at bay. That'd be wonderful. God knows how they're doing it, but... Lauren is very weak, it must be said. Oswald Tarly and Sir Clayton were the next to joust. Congratulations, Lord Tarly. We could build some more troop places, but I think we'll save... For the patrol posts. Okay, the High Septon does like us. Where are you based, High Septon? Oh, you're based in Old Town. Aha, that makes sense. Lord Humphrey wants to become my spy master. I know my spy master's not very good, but. He's a High Lord, and I need to impress upon High Lords to get more troops out of them. We've had a daughter. Excellent. Shirala. She is currently sickly, but hopefully she'll get through that. So that is Child 2. And with the wondrous occasion of a newborn child, we will have to end the episode there. If you are enjoying this series in an alternative scenario to the Clash of Kings scenario, then please do leave a like, comment with any hints, tips or pieces of lore that you wish to share and subscribe for more content plenty coming out on the channel. And I'll see you all in the next episode.